What's up everyone, this is part 2 to my Elden Beast cheese guide. I recently made a video on how to kill Radagon and the Elden Beast, and it seems most of the trouble's coming in in phase 2. So here we are with the guide on how to efficiently defeat the Elden Beast. Okay, so before we get into the fight, I wanted to mention that the weapon I'm using is called the Wing of Estelle. You can find it in the North Ainsel River main. From here, you just follow the path that I take on the map here. Then you'll make it to the top of the palace ruins where you'll find the Wing of Estelle in a chest. I will be making a guide on this, so if you can't find it using these instructions, just wait till the end of the video and I'll link it there. Okay, so now that you have the weapon, you just need to get him to phase 2. If you're having a hard time killing Radagon, check out my first video on how to cheese Radagon of the Golden Order and the Elden Beast. In this guide, I show you a method that essentially stunlocks Radagon into not being able to hit you. Anyway, now that you're in phase 2 of the fight, you simply want to rush the Elden Beast and start spamming weapon arts on him. The Wing of Estelle weapon art does area of effect damage, which makes it very good when going against large enemies. But the goal here is to get the Elden Beast to stagger, and after he staggers, you simply need to walk just a small distance away from him, and then immediately run back and then start attacking under his right wing. This will lock him in place like it did Radagon in the first phase, and from here you just continue using your weapon art, replenishing mana as needed, and eventually, you will have defeated the Elden Beast. But that's going to be all for this video. If this helps you get past him, let me know down in the comments below. And not only that, if you feel like I should be making my videos a little bit longer, let me know that there as well. I make my videos short just so they're straight to the point and you guys don't have to filter through a bunch of nonsense. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.